हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू एडवांस फीचर ऑफ स्प्रेडशीट व्हिच आई वाज टीचिंग यू अर्लियर ओनली वेयर आई विल डिस्कस फ्यू पॉइंट्स व्हिच आई हैव डिस्कस इन द क्लास लाइक व्हाट इफ सॉल्वर गोलसिक सो व्हाट इज व्हाट इफ एनालिसिस what are the learning objective of this video what i am what i want my child to learn my children to learn to make children aware about what if multiple analysis and cell reference cell reference in the next video hope so i'll do do that so what is the objective of this video means i want to tell you about what if analysis multiple analysis means multiple operations first thing is i'll discuss few things which i have mentioned so first thing is what is data consolidation data consolidation means allow you to gather together your data from separate worksheet into a master worksheet means we, when we want to combine data from different worksheet and when we want to combine that in a final worksheet that is the work of a data consolidation in other words the data consolidation function takes data from a series of worksheet and summarize it into a single worksheet steps for data consolidation how we'll do we'll open the worksheet where we have to apply the data consolidation we have to choose consolidation option from the data menu you have to learn that when you have to go to the data menu and when you have to go to the tools menu so to consolidate data we have to go to the data menu select source data range and click add we have to go to the source data range and then we have to cl click the data whatever we want to add the selected range now appears on the consolidated ranges list whatever you will select sometimes we want to select the data from a1 to e1 means you know about the cell address that a1 to b1 or a1 to e1 is the cell address select an additional range and click add after e selection for example if you have already selected the data and you want to add some more data in that case you can add some more data afterwards also specify where you want to display the result by selecting a target range from the copy result to box means we want to show the worksheet in the third sheet or fourth sheet or fifth sheet that is the target range where we want to show our final consolidated data now select the function from the function list now we want to apply some function in the data like we want to do subtotal i have told you what is subtotal is the combination of sum average maximum minimum so we want to apply any function for example we want to apply by default we have sum we know that in excel also we have auto sum so select either row label or column label the text in the label must be identical in all the specified source range now we have to click on okay after doing the consolidation so these are the steps let me sum up all these first you have to open a worksheet where you have all the data then you have to choose consolidate from the data menu ha huh. now the second concept is we have to create the scenario so how we will create the scenario what is a scenario so we know that whatever we'll study what if analysis scenario is a tool for what if analysis and what is what if analysis it is used to analyze the data and every scenario has a name and can be edited and formatted separately you can easily switch between different scenarios by using the navigator what is the navigator navigator is the forward or backward button for example if you wanted to calculate the effect of different interest rates on each of the investment you could add a scenario for each interest rate and quickly view the result means the sum up of this uh, term is that 
it is used scenario is used to do what if analysis and we have to give a name to each scenario for example i have three scenario i have three scenarios so i'll add upon that so students i was teaching you scenario and i have made you understand that it is a part of what if analysis where we have to create multiple scenarios which will have some name which we can edit and we can switch between different scenarios to move from the result what are the steps to do the scenario we have to go to the tools in the last example when we were moving to the uh, what we are doing what if analysis then we were going to data now we have to move from tools then scenario on the create scenario we have to enter the name of the scenario like in our book we have written best so best is coming now optionally add some information to the comment box we can add or we can't add now multiple operation in our book we have the example of multiple operation where we have to find the profit of some values combines a series of formula with a variable and a series of values see now goal seek what is a goal seek goal seek i have told you that when we have uh, we don't have a single input and we have a output and we want to get the input for example we have the marks of hindi hindi english maths hindi english maths and we don't have the marks of computer and we want to get we want to know that how much marks will score in computer so to get a scholarship for that we are using the functionality of goal seek it is very simple we have to select the goal seek a dialog box will come where we have to enter the target value means how much value we want to insert how much value we have to insert to get the value final output so that is goal seek usually you run a formula to calculate a result based on the existing values by contrast goal seek option under tools menu help to find values which will produce the result that you want goal seek you see what if analysis is also there goal seek is also there it is the advanced spreadsheet feature that allow to provide the values for the target based input now comments components for goal seek where you have to select you have to go to the data and you have to go to the what if analysis and then you have to go to the goal seek now place the cursor in the formula cell b4 and choose tools and goal seek on the goal seek the correct cell is already entered in the formula cell now place the cursor in the variable cell field enter the desired result of the formula in the target field now click okay now these are the components of a goal seek what are the components formula bar variable cell and target value i hope you'll understand uh, uh, what is goal seek what is multiple operation what is scenario and what are data consolidation in the next video i'll tell you about reference cell reference that is absolute and absolute mixed and relative reference and then how to create a hyperlink thank you very much